like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 20 says, if X is an irrational number, which of the following statements must be true? And there's a bunch of different expressions based on what X is uh, to, and, and is asking whether or not it's irrational. So to answer this question, you really have to know what irrational means. And an irrational number is one that cannot be written as a fraction of integers. So some examples of irrational numbers would be like pi, Euler's number, um, square root of 2, the cube root of 2, and basically any number that you cannot write as a fraction um, with integers. It does have to be a real number, so numbers like i uh, are not irrational. So let's just pick an example and see if we can find like a counterexample if we get it right. So the, one of the simplest examples of an irrational number would be like square root of 2, or you could use pi, or really just you pick whatever irrational number comes to mind, and then we're going to test these. Okay, which one must be true? If I cube this, it is going to still be irrational. Okay, oops. Right, this is still going to be irrational, so we can't eliminate this quite yet, but it says which of the following must be true? So there could be another irrational that if I cube it would not be irrational. And so the one that comes to mind would be like the cube root of 2. So if I have the cube root of 2 and I cube that, oops, let's put that in parentheses, and let's see, cube, oh, well, I really just want this whole thing to be, there we go, we'll write it like that. So if I cube that, if I cube a cube root, those two exponents will reduce each other to 1, and so I just end up with 2. So although some irrational, number, some irrational numbers are still irrational when you cube them like root 2, some of them are not, right? If I cube the cube root of 2, I get a rational number. So A does not have to be true. It's only true sometimes. If I square an irrational, is that going to be irrational? Well, going back to the root 2 example, if instead I just squared it, so if I square square root of 2, um, that's going to just be, well, 2. So the square root of 2 squared is just 2, which is rational. So it can't be B either. And you kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of methodically going through these one at a time, trying to disprove them. So x plus x is an irrational number. Now, if I add root 2 to itself, it's irrational. You get two root 2s. Um, the same thing is true for the cube root of 2. So it looks like that may be uh, the right answer here. I can't come up with a counterexample off the top of my head. x squared is rational. So we already kind of talked about x squared, and we did find an example right away of one that would be rational. But not every irrational squared is going to be rational. For instance, if I have the cube root of 2 and I square that, I'm just going to be, end up with 2 to the 2 thirds power, or the cube root of 2 squared. That's not something that you can reduce to a rational. So choice D does not have to be true. Now we have x plus x is a rational number. Well, we kind of already talked about x plus x. If I have the square root of 2, and I just add that to itself, I'm going to get two square roots of two. That is irrational, so it definitely cannot be rational. Um, and that leaves us with one potential answer choice here, which is choice C. Um, X plus X is an irrational number. That is going to have, that, that must be true if X is irrational. I know this is kind of a weird question, and it's very conceptual, um, but I think the way to go about doing this one is just to pick an, uh, you know, any irrational you can think of. You know, start with square root of 2 or cube root of 2, and then just test all of these and see if we can't come up with a counterexample. So that's it for number 20. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.